iso and bars. Iso bars is a Greek word in which iso means same and bars means mass. So iso bars means something that has same mass. Now we have different kind of elements in the periodic table and in our surroundings also. These different elements have different atomic number also, but somehow their mass number is same. When there are different elements and their mass number is same, this is called as isobars. So in today's video, we are going to learn about isobars, its definition, types of isobars, what are some examples of isobars, properties and some uses of isobars. What are isobars? As we discussed earlier, isobars means same mass. Isobars are atoms of different elements with different atomic numbers, but they have same mass or their mass number is same. Now here we are talking about mass number, atomic number. Now what is mass number and atomic number? The number of protons and neutrons combined together is called as mass number. On the other hand, what is atomic number? The total number of protons in an atom is called as atomic number. Having said that, what are the types of isobars? There are two main types of isobars. One is the stable and the other one is the radioactive. Isobars that are radioactive are often called as radioactive isobars. There are some examples of radioactive isobars. Say, for example, we have iodine, tellurium, and xenon. All of them have different atomic number for sure, but their mass number is same, which is 126. On the other hand, we have isobars that do not decay radioactively, and these isobars are called as stable isobars. Say, for example, we have isobars of calcium, potassium, and argon. All of them have the same mass number, which is 40, but the atomic number is different. Then we have some examples of isobars. Argon, potassium, and calcium are isobars as they all have 40 as the mass number, but the atomic number are different. Here, we have argon, potassium, and calcium. We can see here that the atomic number of argon is 18, the atomic number of potassium is 19, and the atomic number of calcium is 20. But the mass number of all these three is 40. So when the mass number is same, but the atomic number is different, this is called as isobars. And do remember, we are talking about different elements. Then if we have same number of protons, it means that number of electrons are also same. So if I have 18 electrons here in argon, it means there are 18 protons. If we need to find out the number of protons, so atomic mass is equal to number of protons plus number of neutrons. Now, if you want to find out the number of neutrons here, so simply mass number take away number of protons is equal to number of neutrons here. So in argon, we know the mass number is 40. 40 take away 18, which is number of protons is equal to 22. So in argon, the number of neutrons is equal to 22. In potassium, 40 take away 19 is equal to 21. The number of neutrons in potassium is equal to 21. The number of neutrons that are present in calcium is equal to 20. So the number of neutrons in argon is equal to 22. The number of neutrons in potassium is equal to 21. And the number of neutrons in calcium is equal to 20. No matter how many number of protons and neutrons are present inside the nucleus, we are just concerned about the mass number. If the mass number is same, it means that these are isobars. Then we have another example. Chlorine, sulfur, and argon, all of them 
are isomers because they have different atomic number, but their mass number is same. All of them have a same mass number, which is 40. Here, you can see in sulfur, the atomic number is equal to 16. In chlorine, the atomic number is equal to 17. And in argon, the atomic number is equal to 18. So the atomic number of all these three are different. But as you can see here, the mass number of sulfur, chlorine, and argon is same. So this is what isobars are. When the mass number is same, but the atomic number is different. Properties of isobars. They are elements with the same atomic mass, but have a different atomic number. As we discussed earlier, they are chemically distinct from one another because they have different electronic configuration, thus a different number of valence electrons. Now, this is something very obvious because isobars are the one where the atomic number is different. When the atomic number is different, it means the number of electrons are different. When the number of electrons are different, it means we have different number of electrons and different number of shells in these atoms. When the number of shells and number of electrons vary, they are different. Its electronic configuration is different. All the chemical properties, say for example, electronegativity, shielding effect are different from one another. Physical properties are same for isomers because their mass number is same. When the mass number is same, the freezing point, melting point, boiling point, as well as their density is also same. So these are some properties of isobars. Now we have some uses of isobars. Isobars are very important in different fields of chemistry. Especially isobars plays an important role in the field of medicine. Cobalt isobars are used to treat cancer. Isobars are also used to treat blood clots and different medical conditions also. Say for example, isotopes of iodine are used to treat goiter. Uranium isobars were employed in the nuclear reactors. They are used for different nuclear reactions. In nuclear physics and radioactivity, isobars are frequently studied they occur naturally in the study of beta decay. So these are some uses of isobars. So yes, this is all about our today's lecture. If you want more such videos, please don't forget to subscribe. Thank you very much.